right, so uh, for that sky there, I don't want it to be just a blue sky. I think I'm going to make it like an ochre almost orange kind of sky. Make it like a hazy late afternoon maybe. So I'll just lay that in, just mixing in quickly some uh, ochre. Yeah, that's cooler. Not uh, too blue, not blue. I want it to to be that like uh, you know hazy, uh, almost deserty afternoon. Little white bits there. So uh, the sky actually isn't going to be that important in this particular painting because uh, the steam that's going to come out of these steam, uh, what are they called, funnels, <laughs> are going to kind of invade this painting. Um, so what I'm doing here at the beginning is uh, not even going to be thought of very much when the painting's done, probably. So uh, get in those uh, background hills. Gonna mix this probably. Just a little bit of a greeny, hazy thing for those background hills there. And this will be lost, I'm sure, in what's going on later. Not very strong. Oh, maybe a bit stronger than that, actually. Something. All right, that's good. And uh, so then over here, all this is of course the base wash. Probably a stronger color for here. We want the uh, underneath wash to show. So I'm just gonna go strong with the orange down here. Yeah. Do I need a bigger brush for that, for this stuff? Probably that'll make it faster. Really, really lay that on. Yeah. All this background stuff. Can be pretty quick. Get that little roof in there, I guess. Yeah, so uh, good, quick stuff for the baseline colors. Maybe for this terrain, we'll have more yellow showing, have some yellow light showing through these uh, trains here. Yeah. You won't even, understand. You won't even realize that, uh, that there's yellow under here. I think I'm gonna cover this quite a bit. We'll see. But it's good for a base color. That down. A little bit too green, probably there, but anyway. Don't have to think about it too much for this first wash. But I do like what's happening actually with the ochre sky. I think I'm starting to understand kind of the, the tone that I'm going to get just by doing this. Yeah, that's good. Make it come a little stronger at the bottom. Because I'm gonna have a huge shadow here, this bottom part is gonna be pretty light. And yeah. All right, so uh, quick first wash there. I'll just let this dry then. All right, so that is uh, dry. I think I'm going to start on this building here, come down, work my way across the buildings and the trains going down, and basically kind of get this painting done, or this side of the painting done before the right side. I think that will be good. So uh, what do I want to do with this building? Probably a little bit darker. Kind of maybe, kind of like the orange there. I um, wonder if I want to kind of keep it kind of orangey and and that, let's see, let's see what happens. Um, maybe a mixture of colors, mixtures of browns, darks, oranges. 
just mixing here. I'm just not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm using a black and white reference photo. Yeah, I think uh, I think I want to keep oranges and browns there. So start from this side, and kind of just go down, putting the lighter side, sh well, uh, lighter underwash show a little bit. Um, there is that roof though going uh, right here, so I want to make sure to I'm catching that something bluish, brownish. Make sure we're mixing everything properly. In the past, when I was doing watercolor, I would kind of just just not mix things well, uh, and it didn't look good. So I've learned to just kind of honestly just take my time when I'm doing the mixing. Um, it pays off. It's actually an important part of painting. I've come to understand. So there's this roof here, laid in fairly quick. This is going to be fairly loose painting where I'm not thinking about the little details too much. That would be frustrating to watch, I think, even on video. Some guy just very, being very meticulous with every you know, brush stroke and fixing little mistakes and stuff along the way. Uh, so I'm going to try and not do that too much. Yeah, so we've got some browns there. I want to go back to the orange though, because I like that. So make sure I get some pure orange. Uh, go down again over here. Save those windows. I'm leaving those highlights in a little bit. I like that. I like how uh, watercolor just bleeds into the, like the colors just bleed into each other like that. That is just so fun to watch. And, one of my favorite parts about painting is just how everything kind of bleeds together like that. It's just, just so into that. All right, more orange over here. I do want to keep the orange thing. I do like that. Down here, I'm going to save those windows and put them in later. Yeah, orangey brown. Make this one big shape. That will look better if I'm not fiddling with that too much. Um, I know there's like a roof there. I'll put some depth and detail into that uh, later on, I think. This goes down, big shapes, just big stuff here, little roof thing. Yeah, you don't want to think about this too much. You want the, just want it to have a nice shape. Look at that, nice shape there. Don't want to do too much to that. Okay, so then there's the windows, which I think, again, I'm using a black and white reference photo, so I get to make my own colors, which is something I like doing. And the windows, I guess, will just be like, well, no, look what I did. Well, you know what, it kind of looks cool. It'll create atmosphere, so got to make sure uh, that I'm not doing that. Wipe off my hand. A happy little mistake, it kind of has a cool texture, so I have to be careful. Maybe I should have done these windows before I moved on to that, so that was my fault anyway. Oh, yeah, fresh look here with the windows, I like that. And it's bleeding in together, one stroke is good. Again, I can always add, I can always add uh, things later if I want, but I do like how this is happening. I mean, this part here is not as important as the trains and the people here. So I can't overthink this too much either. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna be overthinking a background, which is probably not what I wanna do. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good, looking fresh, don't wanna to touch that too much right now. Now uh, we go on to the important part, the focal point, which I think will be here is the train. So these old trains, I think they're brown, right? Wooden, wooden things, wooden structures. So let's make it uh, woody, something dark and woody. Yeah, mix a bunch of stuff. So Joseph Spukvich, I'm just going to say right now, is easily my favorite painter. And uh, so I'm going to try, I try to paint like him without copying him. And uh, 
But one thing that I always keep in mind with what he says when with color is that he just thinks of things as either warm, as either warm or cool. Um, is it warm or is it cool? That helps me uh, when I'm thinking about colors and tones like that. I don't think too much about the color itself. I just think, is it warm or is it cool? And I think these uh, trains will be somewhere in between there. I'm not even thinking about what type of brown. It's just this slightly cool brown. Maybe add some bluish to it, something bluish to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff going in the roof there. I like how the roof isn't too straight, because when things look too straight, um, this looks too rigid, and in my opinion, not as good. Maybe we'll keep uh, orange, keep orange stuff. Keep orange stuff going. It seems to be a good theme with uh, what's happening in this. Painting, and I think I'll keep with it. Making things different colors instead of all just one color is a good idea, I think. So, you know, mixing as I go along and filling this in. Making sure to leave this uh, lady. Yeah, that's good stuff. Not using too many strokes, still learning all this stuff. Looks better when. You don't use too many strokes. Well, let's do it in there. Yeah, and uh, I left the windows out because I think it will look good if uh, there is, I mean, I don't want the windows to be perfectly symmetrical either. I don't want that kind of rigid looking painting. I want these windows to be windows, but uh, it doesn't need to be perfectly square, I think, because Yeah, we want, want energy. That's what I want in this painting, energy. I don't want uh, something rigid. I think that looks cool. Let's see if I can add uh, a little bit of darkness under this thing here. Do that again, it came off. that came off a little bit weak. Let's do, do that again. There, better, 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 better. Nice and fresh going on here. Do you gotta make sure that those windows don't look like they are like part of the train though. That's uh, that's not good. Um, so, I mean, what I'll do actually is just add some nice darks right here on the, on the roof and uh, just make sure that those windows look back and that they're distant um, from the train. Yeah, I'll add some darks here so that will make the train pop out. A little more, don't wanna fiddle, I think if I actually, when when I'm there, I would start destroying things. From personal experience, uh, you got to think before you act with these things sometimes, and then other times you just got to do it. So it's all about just practice, I guess. That's right. Well, let me. Uh, so like, I want to capture the bottom of this train first. So I'm going to do that first. Capture the bottom because if it bleeds into each other, if the if the paint is bleeding into each other instead of you know doing things uh, one compartment at a time, uh, it looks better. That's why uh, it's good to do paintings in one go when things are bleeding into each other like that. It just looks looks better. So that should read as the bottom part. That's right, straight. There, keep that, and I like how that, yeah, I even like how that orange is bleeding in to the darker uh, part of the train. It just gives it a cool energy. I like that. So for this part, I think I'm gonna go a little darker again here, just to contrast with the, uh, the orange above it. Yeah, a little darker. The underneath wash kind of showing in with those highlights is working for me. I like that. You add some blue in there. Yeah. Yeah, here. Uh, I'm excited later again to add steam uh, coming out of this. That's going to make the painting, I think, very atmospheric. I'm uh, happy with the pace that I'm going on here, too. Not thinking too much, but still thinking. Adding different, 
colors and stuff. A little more blues here. Yeah, I like it. I like this. I like watercolor. Okay, and adding darks underneath. That's right, it has some watercolor. Awesome. Definitely super fun. Okay, wow, that actually turned out all right. Um, I don't know if I want to touch anything going on here too much. But, you know, those background hills, um, they're a little bit kind of light and kind of maybe even too much in the background. Let's just add like a light, watery kind of glaze in the background there to make that stand out. I like that. I like that. Make it join into the train a bit. That is good. Okay, so, uh, yeah, again later there's going to be a shadow coming down into there. So now let's just go on to this train coming here. So I think the shadow is going to come off this train. So I want this train, these trains to be generally uh, darker than I think what's happening over here. So let's go quite dark, bluish, brownish, it's cool, that's all I'm thinking about really. Right here, I think brown, there's that top part. Ooh, it's a little fuzzy there, but actually might work. Because the focal point's over here, so it's okay if there's fuzz happening over here, I think. I mean, within reason, take out a little bit of it. <laughs> Leave bits there for the friggin' windows. Yeah. Look at that. Watercolor. Watercolor is where it's at. I'm telling me, people. I'm telling all of you. Okay. here. Train. Oh man, hopefully that reads, reads the train. I probably have to go darks later to make sure that it actually reads as a train and not like a building. Ugh. Yeah. It's got to be a train. So maybe the dark part under here will make it read as a train. Right. And uh, I don't want things to dry too fast. Let's wetten things a bit because watercolor likes water. That's what I've learned. Okay, so we got that side, we got this side, we got something going on in the background there. We're going to add steam later. Uh, let us go to the ground and, well, should I add in the shadow now? Hmm, 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 or should I start focusing on these figures and then add the shadow and the figures here at the same time? I think that's smarter. I'll add the figures over here, then I'll blend them into the shadow, and that will look better. Um, all right, so we're going to start with this dude over here with the hat. Go with a smaller brush for that. Make him, I mean, back then they, there was only so many colors they even wore, which makes it easier for me. I don't have to choose all these colorful things. So I think this guy will have a, is this dry enough? Go over here, get his hat in. I think it's a little bit too blue. So we'll make his hat a little darker. I'll get that. Do his face last. Come down here. He's reaching out to that lady. Come on, we are gonna miss the train. Go down. Maybe add some different colors in here. Make it more interesting. Yeah. Gonna miss the train, come on. 
Or wait, the train has stopped. We're gonna miss uh, whatever our appointment. Gonna miss our appointment, hun. Yeah. And uh, in the face, put in after that. And I do the face as last because I like the face to kind of bleed in with things. And this looks better when that happens. Yeah, it's really bleeding in. Maybe bleeding in there too much, so just gonna wash that off a little bit. Add stuff later. It's all right. Maybe add a little bit of a feet happen in there. Okay. Um, don't want to touch that guy too much. I mean, there's stuff I could do. Add more. Make it more look like a coat down there. That's better. All right. Then we move on to. Uh, this lady friend there. Okay, I'm thinking something green-ish for the lady. Something green-ish, like a nice green, emerald green, something like a nice emerald green. Get a turquoise. Get her hat first. Yeah, that's what I like. That's good. And then down, we got her arm there. We got her arm there. She's got a bag. Um, make sure the form is right. Single. Well, doing it to not too many, uh, not too many strokes. I can't do it in a single stroke, but doing things in not too many strokes. I've learned uh, the hard way is the best key, and I do want some dark in there for his shadows and stuff. I know there's like, you know, her shoes and stuff, whatever she's wearing there. I don't really like how she's, how this dress is coming, so let's do, do that. Yeah, that's all right. Looks like a, a lady, I think. Got reddish brown for the skin. Do you want to give her some hair, right? Some hair. Ooh, it's flowing down. I like that. Loose and a uh, little abstract, yeah. Okay, so I mean, these are our important players right here, so I gotta, those have to be good. Yeah, okay. I wanna kind of, uh, I added like a, too many highlights here, I think. I well, might be too late. Too late to let it dry, so the best thing to do is just leave it. So what, there's a highlight there, right here. Kind of cuts around him. If you leave things to dry too late, you can't really fix that. So it is what it is. It looks all right. I'll add some more darks to him later to, to fix that. Whatever, right? Okay, Ooh, this is flowing down too much again. Figures are not the easiest thing to do. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, so. All right, just this guy's arm and then I'll move on. Moving on. Okay. Let's go on to the figures. I'm honestly gonna start fiddling with these figures if I don't stop. Watercolor does that. It's like, whoa, I need to fix this, I need to fix this, and then you'd ruin your painting. And uh, you just gotta learn to just, okay, that it is what it is, it looks good, and just move on, right? It's fine. Won't even think about it too much later, right? Like, definitely don't wanna ruin the painting if I were to keep fiddling with that stuff. It's very easy to ruin this stuff. You kinda just gotta leave it and go, you're capturing it. You're capturing things. A ladybug just flew into my glasses. It's ladybugs in this room. Yeah, got a figure there. Uh, figure here. Yeah, and then uh, maybe this will be a man. Oh, you can't even tell. <laughs> 
So over here, things will get a little bit more uh, hazy. They're just, you know, quick things. You can tell the figures, but I don't need to obsess about them. I mean, quicker the better, really. Give it energy. Yeah. This is going to be blending in with the shadow anyway. This person I'll give more uh, detail to, but. All right, so now the, uh, the shadow, which is going to be blending into everything here. So, is this dry? Because I might want to put a shadow on here already and start with the train and actually start putting the shadow in. Ah, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared sometimes when I put the shadows in and Makes the painting pa makes the painting better, and sometimes it just ruins the painting. All right, so shadow coming in already here, glazing over top, and then into here. Hopefully, in not too many strokes. Leave that there. Maybe I'll leave little bits of light coming in. I'm not gonna lose this guy. Oh well, I can I can see him with that good enough. Make that a clean shadow if I can. Whoa! Fix it. Nice and crisp. Yeah. I think that's good. And then kind of blend, ooh, blending these people in here. Yeah. Come down here for just kind of an ochre uh, wooden looking floor down here. That's right. Ooh. Add shadows to these people later. The shadow will be going left though. Not right. Shadow's coming from here going left, so if anything, the shadow will go that way. Oh, yeah, I kind of like this kind of abstract accidental stuff going on. Kind of like it. We want energy. Um, that's the most important part of this, of this is the energy and the, and the vibe. Not making things, you know, exactly perfect. Yeah, I like this. I like this stuff. Good, all right. So, this guy, can I add this guy in? I think so, I'll just add him in. Wearing dark clothing. He uh, just got off the train and he's like, what's going on here, what, what am I doing? I was just sleeping and now I gotta get off the train. Shoot, I did kind of lose these figures in there. Just got to put them in carefully. Blend. Blend, blend, blend. Careful, Joel. This will be a... Yeah, actually, maybe that works. Makes the shadow more interesting. Wow. There's some energy there. That's good. <laughs> Could have been a disaster, but I think that actually looks looks better. Took a chance and went with it. Wow, that guy's hat got really fussed out. I'm gonna have to go in when things are just dry and just fix that. I mean, it's okay if he's a bit fussed out, actually, because this is where the important part of the painting is happening. Not this part as much. Okay, um, is that all right? Do you want some, like, little baseboards and just something more interesting? Yeah. Okay. Don't uh, fiddle with that too much, Joel. You will start to ruin things quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, let's just let this dry. 
and uh, we'll add darks after that. Let's fix that first. Okay, that's good. Don't fiddle. Let it dry. You can add darks. You can fix things later, and it will look good. So now it's uh, time to let it dry. Okay, so this train really has to stand out. Yeah, this train has to stand out a lot more. These figures have to stand out. So I'm gonna use darks. Yeah, so start here, I think. Ooh, <laughs> too dark, too dark. Calm yourself, Strauss. Calm yourself. Yeah, dark there. Dark under this. Dark right here. Roof. Oh man. Just kind of. Hmm. There we go. That's good. Kind of go for it. And just make sure it happens. Sometimes you're not sure what's gonna happen, but that's part of the fun of watercolor, I think. Okay, so we got that roof, and yeah, they're a little straighter there, happening. Now, uh, something here to make the train stand out, maybe some details under the windows. Yeah. Something in here, I think. Mix it a train. Add some whites as well. Yeah. Mm hmm. What can I do to make this stand out? Should I? Should I add? edge somewhere, what can I do? What can I do? I want it to look fresh. Yeah. Under the windows, I think. Maybe some, whatever there. Play around, you know. Just try things. Be bold. There's that balance between being bold and being careful not to ruin your painting. That's <laughs> that's the goal. Just like really want this train to like be awesome. Which it's gonna be. And more dry brush for up here to like make it really stand out because that's the focal point that's got to like really stand out just try brush right up there yeah mm -hmm. okay um and then i've kind of lost it as it gets dark down there so i'm going to go over that one more time I mean, it's not good to do too many layers, because then it will just start looking cakey. Yeah. yeah, that is cool. That is cool. That's coming together. Probably don't want to touch that anymore. All right, so now I actually really like how this, uh, this dude really came together, all the different stuff going on there. So I just want to add little things, right? Like maybe something on the hat, uh, something here. So in there, under the arm, under the coat. But, wow, I really just don't wanna ruin that, that guy. That guy's my favorite part of this painting right now. And here's some darks here to bring her out. Yeah, shade here. 
shadow is going this way. Going this way, so I got to uh, think about that, add shadows to that. Okay, so shadow, reddish, bluish thing for the shadow. I don't want to have to go over this again because it looks, shadows tend to not look that good when you go over them too many times. Like these, the, like the shadows on these figures looks way better than the, the shadow over here. And I probably am gonna have to go over that again. Like that just, those are strong shadows. Maybe too strong, just there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, I think, do something over that again. Uh, don't want to ruin it. And then there's these shadows here from these figures. Here, we're here. Yeah, it's all going that way. Probably have to go over these again a little bit. Yeah. And then it's got to be, I think that needs to be darker in there. Yeah, that's better. I like the orange coming through. Yeah, and over here, some shade there. Maybe like some windows that show it's a, a train, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm liking how this has come together. What I don't like that much is how those windows look like they're part of the terrain. I'm, like, what can I do to fix that? That Oh, just being a little risky here. Just really don't want those windows to look like they're part of the train. They're supposed to be behind everything. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, just maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll add, uh, I'll add some white highlights to the train too later to make it stand out. Those windows are just background. They are not part of the train. Better. I mean, the, like, the windows themselves looked better before as windows. I know that, but they were competing with what's happening with the train. So I just had to do something about it. I mean, it's a shame I lost those cool windows, but whatever. This is coming along. So uh, there is that, that little roof up here that I think needs some uh, more definition, something. Coming down. in there, not too much. Definition in here, but not too much. And shall we now do the fun part, the steam, or should I go and fix this shadow first because it's just not that strong. I think I'll feel better if I fix the, uh, the shadow. It's not that strong and uh, it is, generally doesn't look good to go over shadows too many times, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Yeah. See, that is looking better already. I'm going to go over that so it doesn't look like I've gone over the shadow too many times. That's looking better. I want a straight edge here, so I do want to come down a bit. Yeah, and we totally lost this guy, didn't we, over here? He doesn't matter that much, it's over here that matters. We need a good focal point, but I do wanna fix him a little bit. He's a little, a little bit too fussed out. Let's see if we can do something. This gentleman over here. This gent coming off the train, that looks better. Yeah. 
think I'll leave these these folks. Leave these people in the uh, in the shadowy mist here. I won't try to bring them back. Let's add some uh, windowy things here. Quickly. And this is the front of it, so let's yeah, do that. And uh, I want this to blend a little better. And this, this part too, I think. Cut that out. Into there. I do like the orange coming underneath though, so I don't want to destroy all of that. I just want to bring a bit of orange back. You know, ugh. Ugh. Maybe not that. Maybe not that much. Bring back the orange a little bit. Oh, that's good. Matches. That's good when you have things that match a little bit of orange. Okay, so uh, what am I doing next? Now I'm thinking I'm gonna finally do the finally do the uh, do the steam, which is the coolest part about this painting because it's gonna create a whole bunch of atmosphere. So I'll do the steam. And then the whites, like the, the gouache, the gouache at the end to, fi to finish it. And we'll see how this goes, if it needs more. So uh, doing these steamy cloud things is, uh, is my favorite thing, it's so fun. What you do is you just take a bunch of, uh, what is this white called? It's called Chinese white, and then you Mix it with a bit of, you know, dark color, like a, like a lamp black. And make sure it's pretty thick. And just lay it on, like there's going to be lots of interesting steam going on here. You get to do it pretty quick. Look at that. Coming through, steam coming through. Look at that, it's already looking like a pretty awesome painting just because just of the steam is, 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 is a thing. So that's some darker stuff underneath the steam here. Yeah, I like that stuff a lot. That is good stuff. Make it a bit watery at the top. that. Use this to take some stuff out. Yeah, that's good. And there's more steam actually Come on, coming over here and over here. Like this, uh, this is a pretty steamy scene. We gotta really have, there's lots coming up. Like this is good stuff. that, bringing the painting together, all this stuff, a little bit of darks in here too. Just so fun to do this. Yeah, and because it's further back, we do want it to be a bit more watery. So let's kind of water it up over here. Beautiful, and I mean, there's got to be some steam coming over from a funnel over here. What are these things called? Funnels? So, even more, right? This stuff over here, even. How fun is that? Kind of a quirky mood right now. Good, good. Okay, so we got steam. Got stuff going on here. So now uh, let's just look at the uh, painting. I'm gonna take a step back, take a look at it. And now we just need like white highlights. Do that with a bit of gouache. I mean, there's gotta be something more coming on down here too. I mean, it's just a little bit, uh, what am I gonna do down here? What am I going to do? Down there. I don't think 
about that when I've done this part. So uh, highlight on her shoulder, lights coming down here, maybe some highlights here, highlight from that side of that guy, reaching out to his wife or lady friend, uh, some white coming in on these ruse, just a bit, white coming in on these ruse. Definitely do not want to overuse, overuse gouache because that will destroy a painting. Yeah, just maybe a little bit of detail work there, but not too much. Just a bit. Yeah, that looks good. All right, okay, maybe a little bit on her arm. Yeah, nice little atmospheric piece here. Okay, so I do like this painting. Let's put more highlights in this guy just to make him stand out a bit even though he's not important. Um, I do like this painting. Little things here, some figures. Maybe I will add them back in a little bit. Yeah, I do like this painting, but what, this is just a little bit not interesting down here. Like, So what am I going to do? Like, I don't want to add just a bunch of wood panels. That will look weird. Do I want another shadow kind of coming up? I do like how it's orange. So maybe I'll just add more kind of like an orange kind of wash just coming up. And that maybe will join in with that shadow and hopefully complete this painting because I like everything that's going on here. I like that, I like that, but this part right here isn't, uh, just isn't interesting enough. So let's uh, make this interesting. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm in this like weird, weird mood. Let's uh, make sure I get a good orange. Go straight from the tube to get a good orange. Get a pretty big brush. And just, I want orange to kind of match what's going on over there. I did, I did uh, really like that orange. That's good stuff. So, coming here at the bottom, quite strong. Bring it up. Yeah, I like the highlights. I'm underneath coming through. Good stuff. Blend it in a little bit. Good stuff. Yeah, that is reading better. And then, um, just uh, a few things. like that, I think. Or not. <laughs> trying to make it, I'm trying to show that this, this is wood. So I want to do that carefully. And yeah, I think that uh, is showing that it's wood, right? I think it is. Yeah, so uh, take a look at it again. Maybe blend some of this stuff up here a little more. I like this, I don't want to change. I don't want to do anything to that, but I just want this to be a little watery and stuff blended into the hills. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at the point now where if I touch it too much, I'm in danger of really ruining things. So I'm going to take off the tape. And when you take off the tape, you kind of see what it might look like framed. And then you'll get a sense if the painting is good or not. And I have a feeling that this is a, a good one. 
can get the tape off. I think that's uh, pretty much done. What do I like? I like the steam. I like the color, the orange. I like that it's, uh, I like the kind of time of day I chose. Here, the shadow was looking pretty good. The strain worked. These figures worked. It was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah.